So you're probably watching this video because you haven't landed your first web design client yet, or even if you have, you're still starting to find your next project. Well, if you follow the three steps in this video, I can almost guarantee that you'll land your first or next web design client in the next three to seven days. And you don't have to spend any money on ads or spend the next three weeks sending hundreds of emails or messages. This method is not only free, but from start to finish, this should only take you one hour of work. Which means after this video, take an hour and follow these three steps. And in one week, I'd like you to comment down below how long it took you to land your first or next web design client with this method. Also, send me a message to my Instagram at patrick.spiegel or in my private Discord community as I'd love to see how it went and if there's anything else that I can help you with. Before we begin with the first step, I need to reveal what this top secret method actually is. It's not using AI or asking a family member if they need a website. Instead, it is Facebook groups or any group where you can post and find your target audience all in one place. Now, I can hear some of you saying, well, that's not a super secret strategy, or I could guess that, and that's right. But if it's such an obvious method, why are you watching this video still starting to find your first or next web design client? And trust me, this works literally two days ago. I'll get this on screen. I use this exact method, and within two hours, I had someone ask me if I can redesign their website. I mean, literally, I uploaded the post at 11.26 a.m. on a Saturday, and at 1.04 p.m., less than two hours later, this person messaged me saying, Hi, Patrick, what are your costs for website design? We need to update our current website. And he then directly linked his website into the chat. Plus, an hour later, so two messages later, we already have the course set up for tomorrow. And if you are in our private Discord community, where we go on weekly Q&A calls, I will go over the proposal, how much I would charge for this website, the sales call, and much more. So link is in the description. So now that you know that it works, let me show you how. Let's begin with step number one, the setup. For this, you'll need to know what niche you'll be targeting. And if you haven't selected your niche yet, watch this video I made about how to find the perfect niche. And after that, come back once you've chosen your niche. Then we'll need to select our platform. And for this example, we'll be using Facebook. I'd recommend finding five to 10 groups specific to your niche and make sure they aren't just inspiration or gallery pages, but rather forums where professionals ask each other questions and help each other out. And so let's say we create websites for electricians in the UK. So we'll go to Facebook, electricians UK. Is that written correctly? Yeah. And so here we have a couple of groups, electricians community UK, perfect. Um, UK electricians, UK electricians near me, improvements, uh, mates, jobs, UK, electricians, UK, electricians forum, UK, awesome. And I wouldn't focus on how many people are in the groups. Of course, generally, the more people, the more eyeballs, and the more chances you have of somebody seeing your posts and reaching out to you. But what is more important is the activity. It's better to have a group with 5,000 members and, you know, eight posts per day or 10 posts per day rather than a group that has 100,000 members, but there's only one post per week. And so here, 35,000 members, eight posts per day. That's really good. Electricians near me, 18,000 members, eight posts per day. Also really good. So we will just go to the first one. Why not? And first, we'll have to join the actual group. So join group. Some of these are going to be private groups, which means an admin is going to have to let you in. That can take an hour, maybe even a couple of days, but this one is public, which is perfect. Um, I'm not gonna answer this question right now. And here we are, we have access to the group. We can post, very important, but we can also have a look at the members in this group as well. If you want to have a VA or yourself, go through all of these members and message them individually for your outreach method. And that's pretty much it for step number one. It's finding your niche and joining these groups, whether that be on Facebook, maybe LinkedIn as well, and maybe some other forums or group pages. And now we move on to step number two, the creation. And this is where we create the actual posts. These are two options that I have tested. I haven't really seen one which works better than the other, but they do have some differences in how much experience you have. So if you haven't landed your first web design client yet and you're just starting out, this first one would work better. So for this one, you would literally just, again, choose your niche and create an example design. So create a fake design for a electrician as an example. 
And this can either be just a home page or even better, it can be an animation. Animations are really, really nice to grab the attention of someone. And you can do this with Figma and then Jitter. That's what I use. Or you can do this layout where you have a desktop version of the homepage, for example, and then a mobile version either of the same page or of a service page, for example. And for those of you who have already landed your first client, even if it was a free one, this before and after shot can work really, really well because you can have a website from a previous client, which was horrible. And once you design your website, it looks amazing. And so to have those next to each other is an insanely good way to showcase your design skills. And especially for people that have bad websites, they will see your before shot, which is a very bad website, which is most likely what most of their websites look like. And you'll have your design right next to it, a before and after. And this is super, super powerful in showing what a website designer can do. And again, the same thing goes for uh, this type of layout where you have either a before and after of a mobile version or just of a landing page. So it's not just like the home section, but it's an entire screen basically of a website. And then for all of them, I would simply have your name. Do not sell because in 99% of groups on Facebook, you are not allowed to do self promotion, but only having your name is not really selling anything. And also for the caption, this is what I have personally done. I have written out, hi everyone, I recently designed a website for Insert Your Niche, so for an electrician, and would love some feedback. That's it. And I personally add, sorry if not allowed. This is just a nice little text so that the admin can see, okay, he actually doesn't really have any ill intentions, he's just trying to get some feedback. And that's literally it. Of course, the more groups you can find to post, the better. It's definitely going to be better to post in 20 groups compared to just two because the more people are going to see the post and therefore the higher chances you'll have of somebody seeing it who is actually interested. And after that, you just wait. But also make sure if you are using Facebook to check Messenger and the spam folder. A lot of people forget to check the spam folder and you don't always get notifications on your phone. So... You know, you might have somebody interested, but you didn't check your spam folder in three days and now he either deleted the message or he's not interested anymore. And now all that is left is step number three, the work. Whether that means that somebody messages you in the first two hours or two days and now you have to set up a sales call, especially if this is your first ever sales call. In that case, awesome. Let me know if you have any questions for that or if after one week you still haven't gotten a response. The brilliant thing about this method is you can repeat and repeat and repeat. What you can do is you can every one or two weeks either join a couple new groups, maybe choose a different platform or stick in the same groups and post a new design or post a new redesign for a before and after shot and just upload that. Especially because most people in these groups aren't always active on Facebook if you choose Facebook. So if you do this every two weeks or so, you'll have different people look at the groups and of course, increase your chances of somebody seeing it who wants a new website. Just don't forget that what's doing this, that you continue with other means of client acquisition, whether that be cold emailing, DMing, cold calling, or also inbound methods such as posting to Instagram, Pinterest, Dribble, YouTube, LinkedIn, continue to do your outreach and your inbound methods whilst doing this Facebook group posting. And also sticking with Facebook, a great way to get inbound clients or just to get some information from the market is to ask questions. Literally just ask questions in these Facebook groups. You'll first of all, learn about your niche and your target audience and people will see you being active in the group. And so after two weeks of posting a new design, you might continue with outreach on Facebook in the messaging platform and then people will remember that they saw your post or your questions or your tips in the groups and they'll be much more likely to ask you any questions or to hop on a sales call with you. And that's basically it for this video. Again, it works. It's super straightforward. And again, the great thing is you can do this over and over again. And if you have any questions, let me know. Also, link for the Discord community is in the description or just send me a message to my Instagram. Don't forget to like and subscribe and remember to maximize your luck. Bye.